Hey guys, and welcome to Should You Buy It, where all we do is talk a little bit about the game and whether or not we think it's worth the cost. In this episode, we'll be playing Space Minecraft with Legos for Adults, also known as Space Engineers, the space sandbox ship building survival game where you and your friends will construct the most amazing ships that you can imagine. Now the first question that we always cover in these videos is what stage of development is the game in? And in this case, Space Engineers is currently in full release and available on PC as well as Xbox for $20. So what exactly is the game? Well, Space Engineers isn't going to be your stereotypical survival game. In Space Engineers, you will have the option of starting in several different scenarios. For example, you could start out your journey on the moon, or you could choose to start out on an Earth-like planet like most players their first time around. One of the very first things you will notice is that you don't have a hunger bar or a water bar. Instead, they opted to go for an oxygen and a power bar. In order to get more power, you simply need to sit in a chair that's connected to power in some way, whereas to get oxygen, you will have to fill it up by converting ice into breathable air, or if you're in an oxygen-rich atmosphere, you can just open your visor. Now, Space Engineers really isn't much about the actual survival aspect of the game, though. It is much more focused on creating ships, factories, and stations. It would honestly take an entire video for each of the basics of these topics, but let me just give you a taste of what you can expect from each of them. Stations, or bases if you prefer to call them that, take power which must be stored in batteries which must be generated by a power source such as windmills or solar panels. These then can all be controlled whenever you sit down in a seat that is connected to the station itself. Each of these things will also take crafted parts which can be crafted via the factory blocks. Factory blocks are things such as refineries, which will melt down your resources into usable ingots that can then be used in your assembler to create parts to build your station, as well as basically everything else in the game. However, they all do require power as well. If you're a bit confused, that's okay. The game is certainly very overwhelming at first, and we haven't even gone to the shipbuilding, which is probably the best part of the game. Ships and space engineers have a lot of different things that go into them. You have weapons, drills, airlocks, multiple different kinds of thrusters, power storage, power generation, connectors, landing gear, fuel storage, cargo storage, conveyors for transportation of items throughout the ship, gyroscopes for steering, and much more. The idea here is that it's a bit complicated, but once you understand the way each block works, it actually is very simple. Just like learning to ride a bike in real life seems like an impossible task the first time around, once you learn how each individual block works, then everything is rather simple and easy to do. With that being said though, the game does have an in-game tutorial, but it is rather lackluster. I would actually highly recommend going to watch some of the more recent videos online to help you get started. Space Engineers also has a few different game modes to offer. There's a story-like game mode, as well as a based events mode where you are attacked by a series of drones. These are both fun and interesting on their own, but don't expect them to be much like the core gameplay. So now let's move into the pros and cons section for the video. First up for the pros is that Space Engineers has an extremely in-depth building system. You can build some of the most crazy ships imaginable, even if they may look a little bit weird sometimes. The game doesn't try to stunt your creative freedom whatsoever, but in doing so, also takes a little bit of the realism out of the game. After that is that the game offers you a very large open world, or maybe it's better to say solar system. You see, since this game is about being an engineer in space, they give you large planets, small asteroids, and many other things to explore so you're not just confined to one Earth-like planet. Next up for the pros is that there are just tons of mods available. Each one has the potential to dramatically impact the way the game is played. For an example, there is one mod that will add new AI to each planet, which will create more of a survival style of gameplay. There are also mods that just add all sorts of new blocks to the game, which is great if you get tired of the ones in the original game. And lastly is the multiplayer community. Many players have decided that they want a multiplayer experience, whether that be with you and a buddy, or with you and a whole host of random other people in a public PvP server. Either way, there is going to be a place for you here. Now for the cons. First up is that there is a lot of new updates that come out for this game relatively often. However, these are almost always in the form of DLCs rather than just purely free updates. Yes, they do occasionally put out bug fixes and other minor updates to the base game, but if you want access to all the new weapons, the new building blocks, and even some of the skins for the blocks, you're going to have to spend money on them. 
And our last con for Space Engineers is going to be that the UI just kind of feels a bit weird and unpolished. It's just really hard to explain until you actually experience it, but the UI feels almost unfinished and just very unpolished in general. I really hope the devs do put some more time into it, maybe even color code some things, such as ore maybe being a certain color or actually just coloring in gold ore so it looks like a gold color rather than just having a base blue for everything in the game. So now it's time for the rating for the game, and when we rate games, we want to get one hour of enjoyment out of every one dollar that we spend on the game. So for this game in particular, in Space Engineers, we would want to get roughly 20 hours of enjoyment out of the 20 dollars that we spent. And after putting over 24 played hours into this game, we give it 8 out of 10 potatoes. Space Engineers brought us a unique take on the sandbox experience. It brings us into a world where our creativity is usually going to be our biggest limiting factor. At first, Space Engineers will probably seem a bit overwhelming and maybe even confusing for you. However, as you continue to play the game, you will get a good grasp on the base mechanics and how each block works. The great thing about this is once you do have that firm foundation and understanding of how each part works, you'll be able to build much more complex structures and ships with relative ease. The UI will certainly be a challenge along the way, and the updates may even cost you some money. But at the end of the day, even with all of those issues, we feel that it is safe to say that Space Engineers is more than worth the cost. Before you guys go, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe as we put out multiple new videos every single week, and your support is what makes this all possible. If you would like to support us even further and get some cool benefits, check out our membership program which can be found in the join button below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.